friend joined us the story of how I met a lady in Toronto when I was with the Coasters. And it was uh, out near the airport and everything was closed, nothing nowhere close where any people were. It was just the hotel where we stayed and a couple of restaurants. And uh, it was about three or four o'clock in the morning and nothing else to do, so we decided we'd go, go to breakfast. And we go to this restaurant. The restaurant name was Fuller's, Fuller's Restaurant. And this little girl was, had, I remember she had blue shorts on, dark, uh, navy blue shorts. And uh, she was our waitress. And when she, uh, our eyes met when she came to the table, and she had this coffee pot. And we, our eyes locked, and she was pouring coffee over, over two or three of the guys, you know, and they had, hey, hey, watch, watch what you're doing, so. But from that point on, like for two or three nights, I came in there, and we talked. And she finally consented to go back to my hotel with me, and uh, we had, like, a couple more days in, in in Toronto before we had to come back to New York. And all that time we stayed together. And she, I don't think she ever went back to work. You know, I, for those three days, I know she didn't go to work. And uh, she ended up calling her mother and putting her mother on the phone, let me talk to her. Her mother was very, you know, nervous, didn't know what to say. I talked, I met her mother and her father. And I told her, if you ever get to New York, you know, look me up. And the next thing I know is when we pulled up in front of my house on 70th Street in New York, she came out to answer, I mean, to help me take my stuff upstairs. However, I mean, we had talked about it a little more than that. It wasn't like she just ran in there all of a sudden. Her father gave me the consent, you know, gave her the consent to, to go and told me that I'd just take care of her. Okay, we were there, we, we were together four or five years, but we were going, when I would go to Toronto, uh, across the border, we would drive to Buffalo and let her catch the train and go over, and I would drive across the border by, by myself. But we got tired of doing that, you know, and decided that we should get married so we won't have to do that anymore. And we did get married, and I think if I, I dates are very, very hard for me. I'd have to give you the dates later. But we were together at least 15, 10 or 15 years. You know, and we're still very good friends. She calls me every other week or so. So yeah, that's, that's Joanne.